Musa Keita has been at the Malian Union of the Blind, UMAV, since his childhood, first as a student and now as a teacher. He is one of the six instructors who will soon teach Braille in Bambara, the country's most widely spoken language. Before now, students had only been taught Braille in Mali's colonial language, French. When I think of this project that thought not just of the visually handicapped, but moreover that thought of Africans, particularly of Malians, to write Braille in their own language, to try and adapt Braille to Bambara, which isn't even the official language. Really, it's a feeling of pride and joy for us. If you can write and read in Bambara, then you can learn how to write it in French. Abdoulaye Diallo is a blind physical therapist and a Braille specialist. He writes prescriptions and patient information on paper with a tool called a slate and stylus. The Braille is then translated into written French by clinic staff. Diallo says teaching Braille in Bambara is a breakthrough for students and blind adults who never had the chance to go to school. If I'm an adult, illiterate, and I'm going to learn Bambara, but I can see, I learn Bambara, and I can do whatever I want. If I'm an adult, but I'm blind, and I don't know Bambara, I'm in the margins. So it's the Bambara which will save, which will give autonomy to all these people who were in the margins. Isiaka Balo, a linguist expert at the University of Bamako, was contacted in 2019 by a nonprofit group called Sight Savers to spearhead the project to adapt a Braille to Bambara. Bambara has more letters than the French alphabet and more intonation, so new letters had to be created, but only within the six points available in the Braille cell. Balo says blind students in Mali will now have more access to education. If they can learn these subjects in their language, I think that will only strengthen the knowledge and mastery of science, the knowledge and mastery of literature, the knowledge about the world around us. In many schools, instruction is done in the local language rather than French. Balo says the next step is to translate Mali's other national languages, like Fulani and Songhoi, into Braille. Annie Reisenberg for VOA News, Bamako.